Hey, to Say Destiny crew, Carl Spreedis here. Thanks for joining me for another to Say Destiny daily dose. Decide to continually push through the threshold. What makes you better? Making the next step, taking action, and pushing through the threshold so that you can continue to evolve, continue to grow, continue to learn, and continue to develop better strategies, better processes, and better results. I found this today when I was having a meeting with a few people and working out how I could help them. And I was going through the general sort of structure and then I went, wait a minute, I'm not putting in all of my effort here. Let me actually give more of my energy. Let me focus more into the eyes. Let me actually say thank you while I'm looking at them and saying thank you and really genuinely mean it. Let me connect on a deeper level. Let me you know, create something more with them in the space, in this time that we have, rather than just the, yep, Step one, step two, step three, you're following the processes, that will equal a good result. No, it doesn't work like that. Things are constantly evolving. People are changing. People have more opportunities. There's so much out there. And if people can't feel that you can't be trusted or they can't connect or they, they can't you know, resonate with you, then you're dead in the water. You know, people are moving away from the systems and the structures and the, and the main you know, you know, uh, information areas and stations because they, will, they can't deliver on that actually genuine trust factor. And people are evolving intellectually, spiritually, in so many different ways. And so you have to evolve. And one of the ways that you can evolve is by continuing to push that threshold, continuing to push to the next level, you know, to, to get that peak performance. And you can fall into slums, you know, winter can come around, we can get into hibernation <laughs> you know, season and, and pack on the pounds, all sorts of things can happen. And when we're happy with where we are and we're satisfied, you know, I think one quote that I heard that's great to get us out of that because it can really soon start you into a funk is joyfully unsatisfied. You know, so you're joyful, you're happy with your process, you're happy with your progress, you're happy with who you are and what you're doing and what, you know, and, and your heart and soul and deep down your mission and how you can help people. But you're unsatisfied because let's face it, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done in your life. There's a lot of work to be done in my life. There's a lot of work to be done in all of our lives. And for us to continue to do work, grow, and, and, and evolve, and actually achieve things that really matter, really make a difference to our own humanity, and to, to greater humanity, to our own lives and to the lives of others, we need to be able to push through that threshold and find ways to. And one of the ways that I found was quite interesting was I was thinking about the other people today. I was thinking about them and their experience and how, what they're going to take away from their day. And have they wasted their time? Have they you know, made the mistake, have they gone out and, and other things let them down and that's going to affect them in their marriage, in their, with their kids, with their family, in, in a, numerous ways of life, you know. You don't have to go as deep as I do or you don't have to go that deep, but just thinking about the other person and what you're giving, what value you're giving actually allows you to pull yourself out of your current state of, how should I say, laziness or state of com comfortable, you know, comfortability. And you need to get to that uncomfortable state. And the way that you get to that uncomfortable state is about challenging yourself. Challenge yourself to grow. Challenge yourself to move forward. Challenge yourself to get uncomfortable in the situation and ask that next question that you know emotionally maybe their answer might affect you or you know, generally you don't do that or that's out of your normal you know, mode of being. That's what gets you to the next level. And a lot of times it's doing it for someone else. Charity organizations, people go and they do these huge marathons and there's a big cause at the end of it. Why? Because doing it for someone else pushes you to be something else. It pushes you to be, not something else, but to be, be, to be a better version of yourself. It pushes you to, to be that, that yourself in the future that you want to be because you're now doing it for someone else. And we need that. We've got that community instinct. We've got that, that connection instinct deep within in us. And so if you can attach pushing through the threshold and going to the next level, going to the next stage to a worthy ideal, to a charity organization, if I get fit and I go around this marathon, then I can give money to this cause, um, you know, for, for kids that have had um, heart surgery and, and that matters to me, that really means a lot. These are the things that you can do that can actually make you, you know, achieve the next level and push through the threshold and become greater and greater and the best version of yourself and be happy, joyful with who you are, but unsatisfied in terms of what you've achieved so you can continue to achieve things that make you look back and go, wow. Look at me go and be your own cheerleader and inspire other people and make humanity a better place. I mean, make the world a better place. That's what we're really here for. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Share it around if it resonated with you and you want other people to have a look at it. 
and see how they can push through the threshold. Maybe you're in a slump, maybe you know someone else who's in a slump at the moment. This one might be able to help them out. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. Tell us how you get out of the threshold. You know, what charity organizations do you kind of attach to your fitness goals or to your journey or you know, whatever it is that helps you catapult forward? Let me know. I'd love to know. I'm always interested. And as always, remember, decide your destiny. Cheers.